the prostate cancer advances in basic mechanisms and, and translational research meeting could not come at a better time. We're at this really interesting cusp of breakthroughs with regard to prostate cancer. Up until now, we've been treating all patients with metastatic I disease identically. So we haven't been uh, able in the past to utilize subtypes in the same way that breast cancer and other solid tumors have to stratify patients into more appropriate treatment regimens. Over the last several years, we've seen a number of breakthroughs that allow us to make a more informed decision about how to treat patients based on fundamental discoveries. The thing that's unique about this AACR special conference is that it has been successful in bringing together the most basic of laboratory investigators to the population scientist that studies the genetics of risk, ever more so important for prostate cancer right now, and the genetics of disparities, which we know is very uh, prominent in this particular disease type. Um, those two disciplines coming together with the clinical groups that attend the AACR meeting have allowed us to fast track discoveries into the clinic and then inform back to the laboratory what are the really important questions that we need to address now of who might best respond to particular new therapeutic regimen in our, in our space. Illustrating the multidisciplinary nature of this conference is actually the disparate uh, expertise of the four of us who were selected as the chairs and co-chairs of this conference. So the conference will be chaired by Johan de Bono, who's a medical oncologist in the UK, uh, and co-chaired by myself, leader of one of the NCI, one of the 69 NCI designated cancer centers. My background is in translational and basic prostate cancer research. This is complemented by Pete Nelson, a medical oncologist, but who has a very strong laboratory-based research in the genetics of cancer, and Mark Rubin, a molecular pathologist. So amongst us, we treat patients, we understand the molecular basis of disease, we diagnose disease, and we understand the genetics of prostate cancer. It's a great team to work with. There are a number of, of cutting-edge topics we'll be addressing at this meeting. The first is the genetics of risk, so something that we've learned much about over the last several years. A second would be actually imaging. So, and this is where the multinational um, uh, registration and the multinational participation of the meeting becomes quite important. Some of those breakthroughs are coming from Europe and from Australia, and so the ability to share those discoveries and discuss how they might be implemented, um, these novel imaging strategies across different disciplines will be an important aspect of this next AACR meeting on prostate cancer. An area that is really intriguing to us is tumor evolution with regard to prostate cancer. We're starting to see pathologic changes both at the, in, the, in the clinical features of the tumor as well as in the genetics of the tumor, suggesting to us that there may be a certain element of plasticity that's gained when these tumors then progress past hormone therapy, likely associated with alterations in key tumor suppression pathways and acquisition of phenotypes we haven't seen before. Things resembling a small cell or a neuroendocrine-like tumor subtype are starting to emerge in some of these patients. So there's a, there's a section that's of this conference that's specifically dedicated towards understanding these transitions that seem to be happening when patients progress with this very uh, advanced stage prostate cancer. Young investigators attending this meeting will benefit not only from the multidisciplinary nature of the conference, where they can expect to interact with laboratory population and translational researchers and clinical researchers, but they'll also benefit from an opportunity to present their own research. So in addition to the poster sessions, there will of course be abstracts that we'll be selecting um, from the submissions to pull up into short talks, and, and we'll be prioritizing younger investigators or early stage investigators for those lectures. It's been long been a tradition of this conference to include those young investigators in every possible uh, element of the meeting and we continue uh, to plan that. AACR, I feel, has been fundamental to the discoveries that have benefited patients uh, with regard to prevention, detection, and management of disease, as well as quality of life. AACR has been and continues to be 
uh, the major organization bringing together multidisciplinary teams that can't be emphasized enough. This is not a meeting for basic scientists. This is not a meeting for clinicians. This is a meeting for both. And it's a meeting for them to share their experiences and discoveries and build the teams that lead to cures. Thank you.